Does Valtteri Bottas deserve to stay at Mercedes for 2022? At the end of 2016 season, Nico Rosberg won the championship against Lewis Hamilton in the last race of the season and Nico announced his retirement from the sport just a few days after winning the title. Mercedes chose Valtteri to fill the vacant seat. Now let's look at Bottas' stats since he joined the team in 2017. He racked up 1209 points, scored 13 pole positions, got 53 podiums with 9 wins and 8 DNFs to his name till the 2021 Hungarian Grand Prix. This itself is an impressive stat since his teammate is 7 time champion Lewis Hamilton who is always on top of his game and usually never makes a mistake. Now let's look at Bottas 2021 season. This F1 season has not been the best for the Finn driver as he had the worst start to a season compared to his last 4 years. This season he has 108 points compared to 161 points last season in the first 11 races. Keeping in mind that the Mercedes W11 was much more dominant car than the current W12 of 2021. Valtteri hasn't had a win this season and only got one pole position to his name in Portugal. He got three DNFs in which two wasn't his fault apart from his obvious mistake in Hungary at turn one. Bad luck playing a part this year for Valtteri. Why should Mercedes let Bottas stay for 2022? Number one, experience. He has driven 90 races and counting for Mercedes since 2017. Obviously, this season was far from his best, but he is an experienced campaigner. Valtteri has been driving for the team for the last 4 years, so of course he has a lot of experience. He knows the team and the engineers inside out. As we all know, in F1, experience counts a lot to get the maximum performance out of a car. Number 2. Consistency In a championship contending team, the drivers need to perform consistently at their best. And the Finn driver is consistent in his performance. If not winning or getting pole, he mostly gets a top 3 position in qualifying and as well as in races. Number 3. Team Man Obviously, he gets the job done for the team and always supports Lewis Hamilton in the process which is really important for a championship contending team to secure the most points available for the constructors championship like for example this year in France when Valtteri let Lewis pass or in Silverstone when he let Lewis to pass which eventually led Lewis to win the race. Options for Bottas if he leaves Mercedes Williams Of course, there are strong rumors that George Russell will replace Valtteri at the end of this year. Bottas could do a simple seat swap with Russell. He drove for the team, so he obviously knows the team well and his experience for a championship winning team can help Williams in the near future. But will Valtteri willing to go for a team at the back of the grid? Number 2. Alfa Romeo Second option for Valtteri is the Italian team. He can move to Alfa Romeo if his countryman Kimi Raikkonen leaves F1. As a proven racer, Valtteri could be a useful addition to the team, which can help Alfa to make the most of 2022 regulations. Leave F1 his last option could be to leave F1 if he doesn't find a seat for next year. He could go rallying which he has already done in the past in his career. What do you think guys? Does Bottas deserve to stay at Mercedes for next year? <laughs>